Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is the Mary Marie Show, and I am so excited for this show today, and I hope you are too. I hope you're feeling good wherever you are, and I really do mean that, especially with what's going on in our world today. There's lots of it. Like I said the other week, and I've been saying, it looks like we are in one of those chapters or near the chapters in Revelation when there is all sorts going on. Talk about the cost of living. Talk about wars and rumours of wars. Talk about all sorts of things that are strange going on in Hollywood. And (laughs) that's my my name for Hollywood and all sorts of things that's going on. It's really grim out there. But, but, but with the grimness, with the grimness and the craziness that's going on, I have to remember a verse that gives me hope. And I'm not just talking about just hope as in wishy-washy hope i'm talking about hope knowing that god really is in control because god does say you know be of good cheer i have overcome the world i have overcome the world and i am confident in that so there is good things going on and we're going to talking about that and we're going to um really be going into why in the middle of all this weirdness that's going on yes we have hope but there's opportunities there's great opportunities to um you know spread light and spread love and really see God move wonderfully in our community as we always do let's kick things off with some music and um, we'll be uh, right back to have a discussion for those of you who don't know before I play the roster of music for those of you who don't know um, I'm here every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m on Ruach radio so wherever you're listening to me whether it's on the radio or whether it's the different places and spaces where we repost this Welcome and thank you. Enjoy your evening. We are going to kick things off actually with a new track, which is going to set the tone and the pace and the content for the show today. It's called Antidote and it's by Sam Rivera. We've got quite a few tracks from Sam Rivera coming up. We've got everybody on this whole thing and I'll go through that when we come back. But anyway, we're going to start with Antidote, um, um, Capital Kings featuring Sam Rivera. And this song, listen to the words, because it really is going to be about what we're going to be talking about. And then we're going to go to, oh, a classic that I love, um, New Day. That's John Mark Pantana featuring Mark Barlow. Um, And then we'll end that next section with Alfie. And this is a new one from him, actually. No more. And I love this one, because, again, this is all about how God takes, God, God takes our our worries and concerns and things like that. He knows exactly what to do with it. So we're going to kick things off with Antidote, um, which is Capital Kings, which is Sam Rivera. And then, as I said, we're going to be going to the classic New Day, John Mark Pantana um, featuring Mark Barlow. And then we'll close that off with Alfie, no more. Um, and I'll see you right back after this. This is Antidote. Feels like I'm drowning in the ocean. Feels like it's hard to recognize. Myself behind all these emotions Open my eyes Show me a light Pulled by the tide Taking me further Can you hear my cry? Oh Send me a sign to follow Can't wait until tomorrow
planeta The Mary Moo Show on Ruak Radio
everybody my name is Mary Moo this is the Mary Moo show I'm here every Thursday we're at radio from 7 to 8 p.m just blessing up your evening okay so we've been listening to some great music we've been listening to something I was excited about and I did say for those of you who kicked things off with us um, when we first started that this song Antidote really sets the trajectory and the, the tone and what the messaging of what we're going to be talking about on this show. So we'll listen to Capital Kings switching Sam Rivera with Antidote. We've got more Sam Rivera coming up. Then we'll listen to another classic that we'll have to play on the show. That's John Mark Pantano with New Day. Um, oh yeah, and they're featuring Mark Barlow on that. And then we ended up with a new one from Alphine with No More. Okay, so as I said, we've got some great Music coming up. We've got we've got CJ. We have Alia Lara. We have Holy Gather. We have um, Sunday. We've got two tracks from Sunday actually. We've got Marizu. We've got who else? Jordan May. <laughs> That's another Sam Rivera. This is going to be quite a heavily packed music one, which I think is just nice because it's going to support what we've been talking about. So let's get straight into that, and then we'll get on with our music collection. Yeah, should we do that? Right. Oh, have I been to any events and I've been doing anything? Well, yes, um, I talked about, I've talked about them already, the ones I went to, because it's been a while since I've last spoken to you. If you've been paying attention, last week was actually a repeat. So, um, you know, we got, we, we've got, we actually, let me tell you why, because we have been working on some great shows that are coming up, uh, obviously shedding all the interviews and some things do happen, some mix ups. Um, but let me tell you, it's going to be really great. In fact, actually, I'm going to announce it on the... I'm going to announce it now so that you can keep watching for next week and, and the week after and what's to come. So we have booked um, a lady called Sarah Jane who's going to be coming on the show. She went viral for this clip, which I'm going to play this. So she went viral for this clip um, on social media, which I'm going to play. And again, this is all linked with what we're going to talk about today as well, which is going to, again, so, sort of set the pace of what's coming um, next week. So she went five for this clip, so I'm going to play them. Um, and then, obviously, we went ahead and um, booked her for the show that's going to be coming. So as you listen to this, actually, please um, find me on social media. My, um, what's it called? On TikTok, I am The Mary Me Show, I believe. And on Instagram, I'm Mary Therese, which is um, my, my middle name and my first name. So um, please hit me up on social media wherever you can find me and ask any questions that you want me to ask Sarah Jane. (laughs) Um, So please go ahead and do so because we're going to be having on the show and we're going to be asking some questions. Um, We're going to, I've I've got some questions that I want to ask, but I thought I'm not the only one who might want to hear it talk. So um, I'm putting that to you. So please have a listen. If you have any questions that you want me to ask, slide into my DMs. You have the right to, it's open, slide in and ask the questions only. (laughs) <laughs> for the show um and i'm sure it's going to be really um impactful so let's play the clip of what made sarah go viral um and um we'll be right back so was there a particular like moment thing that you had to do that was like okay i am now a witch she'd be like i'm here to give you your first lesson in witchcraft i'm a teenager at this point even me i'm scared because i'm like what is about to come out of this conversation maybe lucifer was right and god was wrong i want you come you don't want me let me light a candle real quick I'll see you. And I heard his mother's praying for him. You cannot do that to him. Why did doing a tarot reading like that lead me down such a dark spiral? This is not love and light. This is not peace and sunshine. Like people try to make these practices out to be. God kidnapped me. I was his enemy. He still loved me enough to bring me back. Mm. Amen. Ooh, so you can probably see why I'm very excited about having uh, Sarah Jane on there. We're going to be discussing a lot of things. A lot of things. Um, And again, the message... It's not just jumping on hype, actually, because if, you, if you've been a fan of the show, you'll know that we've spoken to a couple of people who, about this same topic. I really am passionate about spreading light in an area which says it's light 
um, and, and thinks it's something so secretive and, you know, look at us here. We have to shed as much light onto what it is and what that path and journey is all about. Because some people still think, oh, it's just a bit of a harmless it. And, and, and I, you know, we'll talk about this more when um, I interview Sarah. But if you look at the comments and things, people are like, this is just something light and be, oh, come on, everybody chill out. People still think it's like, it's nothing. Like it's a McDonald's Happy Meal. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, let's get on with the show and um, we'll pick things up next week. That's going to be really good. Okay, so what are we talking about today? So I wanted to play um, the song Antidote from um, obviously Capital Kings and Sam Rivera because he, the, the chorus actually has a line about something like, open my eyes. It's about making me see, um, see you, God, in, you know, in every, let me, I want to see you, God in um these situations in what's going on things like that it's it's a great track i really like it it's it i'm trying to open my eyes show me a light show me something when i feel like i'm drowning like things are not working out this song i'm going to play the song twice actually the beginning and the end just to kind of reiterate and reinforce that if you're in a situation where you may feel like actually i feel like this is really really bad like i'm drowning in situation i feel swamped i feel like i can't take it anymore that little prayer of open my eyes goes show me a light show me something um is um like i said it's just a a, a prayer um that god it will answer and i'll tell you why i know he will answer because in second kings chapter 6 verse 17 let's go a bit of the scriptures here there's a story about elisha um and he says to god because his servant or his assistant with him is you know, is really, really worried. And before that, Elisha says, don't be afraid. So this is actually, um, 2 Kings 6 verse 16, Elisha says to his sister, don't be afraid for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And it seemed weird because they were surrounded by, by opposition. So Elisha's there all chilled and his servants like, uh, dude, (laughs) dude, 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 can you see what's going on? Can you like, you know? And in fact, in verse fifth, verse um, fifteen, he says, the, the master servant says, he, he asked Elisha, "Oh, my master, what are we to do?" Um, because there were just horses and chariots that were surrounding everywhere, and Elisha responds with, "Look, dude, look, dude, you don't be afraid, um, because there are many, they're more with us than those against him." And it might seem odd because how, how? There's only two of us. I would have probably asked that question. There is literally only two of us. Um, but then Elisha prays something. He says, um, oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw that the hills are full of har- horses and chariots of fire all around them. So now we, so they've come with their physical horses and chariots and um, the opposition, yeah, which is um, frightening this poor servant person. But Elisha's children is like, yeah, okay, that's fine, but... God open his eyes so that he can see the sp- sp- spiritually that we have so much more, a spiritual army that's bigger than this. And if you get to the story, you saw that it ultimately win, but it's it's a fantastic story. But that whole prayer of God open my eyes so that I can see um, is so essential. If you are like me, <laughs> people like to send us stuff to watch to help encourage and build our faith. And there is one that's been doing the rounds. And I think I checked today and it already has in 12 days, 1.4 million views. And I want this to to grow and grow and grow into the millions and millions and mini- millions. You probably know what I'm going to talk about if you already know. This is the um, the testimony of, I'm probably going to, I hope I'm saying the surname correctly, is the James um, Kowalia interview. It's the guy who was once an ex-Satanist. I mean, proper high-ranking warlock um you know it witchcraft was like something he'd done and done he was on in the occult but the story was really a lot more than that it was a story of oh it it's sad because he was born into into it it was that i don't want to give too much away if i haven't watched it but it was really awful i mean it had some shocking things to be fair growing up as a nigerian you've heard these kind of stories in that before you you really have or we really have um something similar like this but this is different for many reasons this is a baby who was born into this situation um so he didn't really necessarily have um the choice like some people have today when they're going to go and pick up their you know their witchcraft situations and thinking it's just harmless fun this guy didn't know anything didn't know anything else i mean it was so bad like 
I, you, you should go and hear the, who fed, what fed him <laughs> as a child, um, as a baby, that's to say. And the whole initiation process, it was horrific. All the things he'd done, all the things he admits he, do, he did, all the craziness, which kind of lands on one thing that uh, that is very important that I want to mention. So first of all, was what actually got him saved. So he was off after he'd gone and succeeded in doing what he was sent to do. Um, he was off into Europe to go and sort of almost be crowned and um, appreciated for doing what he's done in the, in the, in the demonic uh, societies, these secret societies that exist. And he meets, I don't want to give too much away, but he meets somebody who um, just calls his name and looks at him. And immediately, this is the guy who was born into, into all this, he he says he summoned 600 uh, uh, demonic forces with him, including the fallen one himself, um, which was unmatched by just a look and a hug. Literally a look and a hug. It was more than that in a sense that obviously this was Jesus, this, but a look. And I love what he said when he goes, look, please, guys, stop making it seem like God and the devil are there fighting. It just doesn't even work. They don't fight. They can't fight him because it doesn't work like that. But it's like, no, 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 no. You just don't know who you are in the kingdom. You just don't know. Like the, the girl probably wouldn't know. It was just her and obviously Jesus. He had 600 plus with him. All the things inside of him plus the fallen one, like I said, a simple look made them flee in seconds. That shows who we are. And this is a young girl, like a 19 year old girl just looking, looking at him. And goes off and gives him a hug and he's immediately delivered. But also other things that he mentioned as well that he realised groups that are there praying, having no idea of the impact of what they're praying, is causing all sorts of issues and drama in the kingdom of darkness. So they're off in meetings and he mentions, them, you know, through divinic, um, I wouldn't say that, through actually through demonic influence he's able to call the name of a, a, a pastor who's there praying in their in their own little village there and all the lights turn off and he, he talks about the impact of our words and what we say in 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 the in the in the spiritual world and you realize wait a second guys there is are, are we forgetting who we are are we forgetting who we are in in, in christ are we, are we, are we forgetting it? Sometimes it can seem we can forget it because of what we go, what goes on in our lives and it, what, what we are going through and things like that. It can really seem really bad. It can really make us forget actually, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Ugh, the scripture knows what it means when it says greater, you know, the, even the least in the kingdom is greater. And on that note, we're going to, We'll go, we'll go for a break, actually, and then we'll come back and we'll continue, talk, continue talking about this more. But as we as you listen to the music and as you kind of chill and get on with your evening and do what you're doing, think about it. What situations have you been in that's made you feel like you're drowning and you feel like, hang on a minute, this just seems so bad. Let's stop for a minute and remember whose side we really are on. Like, this is not no yin and no yang. This is not no good versus evil. This is not no God versus the devil. Like, I've always been told, you can't, you, you can't put God against an, an, an angel and, and say, oh, it's one or the other. No, it, this is a, something, a battle. <laughs> no, let's re re go back to remember who we are. And we're going to talk about a bit more about who we are and lessons I learned from that um, that little interview and things like that and what and what it what impact it had on me, it had on me. So let's go to some music. Actually, like I said, so in fact, we're talking about being greater. Um, let's let's listen to Jordan May featuring Marizu with "The Greater Is He." I think that's a good one to lead with, and then we'll go into um, "Out the Lion." This is the um, the One House versus um, Sunday and Mitch Wong. I love this one. I'll be lying if I said I don't need you. <laughs> we will be. After looking at how great God is, I'll be lying if I said I didn't need you. Um, so definitely do that one. Um, and then we will go to the Sam Rivera um, joint, which is Yahweh, um, which I love that one. I don't know if you listen to that one. So great tracks um, from Sam Rivera. Um, and then um, Aaliyah Lara with Matthew 6, verse 33. We played this one uh, a few weeks ago when it came out. So it's a great track. Um, so that's four tracks then we'll be right back so we'll kick things off with greater is he um featuring jordan may and marizu and i'll see you in a bit you gave me life better rhythm than 
in the rain Feels good, but it ain't no crime It ain't no crime No energy inside Truth to run on my mind Just look to the one I hide The one my side I, I fur up my body You can take the trophies Show on Ruac Radio. Some days I feel like I can't walk on water, and some days I don't even know where I stand. Sometimes I am afraid to show honesty because I feel like I am losing a friend. I got trauma, and I need some healing, but I find myself running again and again. I can't pretend I'm okay and keep doing my thing, but I'll go back to God in the end. Yeah. I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your love I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your God I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your love I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your God yeah. Why do I pretend I got it together? Why do I keep on pushing you away? Why do I make it so hard to surrender? Feels like I'm fighting myself every day I'm in a tug of war, on and on And I'm on this saga to break But there are some things that can only be broken When my heart is finally ready to say I fall on my knees in worship God has set things in motion I desire a life of devotion No, I won't fit a thing in the ocean I look up to the sky, I know my help comes only from you, Lord You know me more than I know myself You are the one who I adore Ooh. I be lying, I be lying if I said I don't need your love I be lying, I be lying if I said I don't need your love I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your love I'd be lying, I'd be lying if I said I don't need your love
Ruach City Church. The word, the worship, the world. Yahweh, only one I pray to, only one I love to, only one that sees me, yeah. Yahweh, healer of my pain, Savior all my days. I don't deserve you, but I want more of your presence. Oh, have I felt love like this before? Begging for more, more of your presence I want nothing else God, you're the essence I only want you and nobody else Got me singing, I would have never made it I would have lost it all Now I see you were there for me Tell me if you need a savior You got problems, but he's greater Waste no time Pick up yourself and put down your pride Yahweh one I pray to, only one I love to, only one that sees me, yeah. Yahweh, healer of my pain, savior all my days. I don't deserve you, but I want more of your presence. I just want more of your presence, oh, yeah. I just want more of your presence. I just want more of your presence, yeah I just want more, I just want more, oh Every inhale, every exhale I take Says your name without trying Yes, got my flesh just dying, oh I really don't mind I don't wanna be used by you Christ was so my heart brand new You say to go, I go, no hesitation Crave your relationship With the one that has risen with the one that has risen, oh Like I said, there's no one like you Never has, never will The love of my life, yes, you're the light My God, you're so real yeah. How we only wanna pray to show on Ruach Radio. If you say go, then I'll go, 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 go If you say go, then I'll go, 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 go If you say 
Welcome back, everybody. This is the Mary Moo Show. My name is Mary Moo, and I'm happy to see you. I hope you're feeling good wherever you are. We've been listening to some music. We've been listening to um, Great to Receive, Jordan May featuring Marizu. Then we listened to um, I Be Lying. This is the One House Sunday and Mitch Wong Collective Mix, which is so true. I'll be lying if I said I didn't need you, God. I could say that all day long. And then we listened to um, the new one from Sam Rivera, which is Yahweh. I haven't played that one. I listened to that one before. So that was new for me. Um, and then we kind of wrap things up with a nice, <laughs> nice comfort in the Leah Lara, um, Matthew 6 or 33. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about God opening our eyes to see who really is in us and with us, because it it definitely is greater than what's around us. And it can seem, it can seem like, um, it can really, really seem like it's that there's so much around us that is, um, just blinding and just it's too much and it can seem like you're drowning just like the song i played earlier the one that i love antidote from um capital kings and sam rivera it can feel like look i'm really i'm like i'm drowning in, in all of this but god please open my eyes so i can just so i can just see the light so i can just see the hope so i can just see it and and live again and be happy again and breathe again we're a lot stronger we're a lot 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 stronger and um we talked about the interview, um, the James Kowalia, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, interview, the one who, the guy who was the uh, ex-Satanist, warlock, occult, everything, the, the kingpin of all in that sort of kingdom, and how um, he was saved, so simply, <laughs> um, because God opened his eyes even to see, he was able to see spiritually, who, just behind a hug and a smile, how powerful, who was behind that, which was God, obviously. And we talked about things in there. And something you'll notice when I interview my next guest, um, Sarah Jane, about this whole deception that they're under, those who are in the demonic kingdom, that they think that everything is just, they've got all the power, they really are convinced out because it seems like us Christians, sometimes we're really weak. <laughs> we say, oh, they they convinced because of what they physically see. But then when they engage in some sort of like warfare or something with um one of God's protected chosen people, then they realize, hang on a minute, I'm on the wrong side. But we here, are we oblivious? Do we know? Do we really know? Do we are we really aware of who's inside of what, what's going on? And sometimes we we might not. And remember, the scripture says that by by their fruits we'll know them. And I and the scripture that also says, Paul, I know. And that demon says, <laughs> Paul, I know. Um, Jesus, I know, but like, who, 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 who is you? <laughs> who is you? They know, everybody knows. And, well, I, I find the other side seem to know, but we need to know. I'm, so I'm tasking myself. And I've been tasking myself since listening to that interview with, hang on a minute, Mary. Remember who you are. Remember who is for you. It is greater. It is so much greater, the force and the things that are with you. And I had to sit back in my life and think about, God, have there been times in my life where, I may might not have noticed, but the other side have noticed like what's inside of me. And yes, I have examples of that. I remember one time I've shared on this platform before when I went with my friend to go and get her, I think her top lip pierced or something like that. I just I thought I'll follow her and I'll sit down and just watch everything happen. And we walked into this um, place, which was also like a tattoo parlor, you know, like a tattoo parlor. Um, that did piercings and things and on the wall they had like the a skull of a some sort I think it was a either a not a bull a, a skull of an animal it was it was ugly but it was on the wall and it was nailed in and I remember we looked it was like wow that's like a goat's uh, skull or something but it was screwed into the wall and I just kind of looked at it and I thought Oof. and my friend was there getting her top lip top lip pierce and I sat down next to her which was not too like literally adjacent to this a skull head and um the next minute this thing just was sitting down no, nothing nobody touched it nobody was near it like I said it was screwed to the wall it just literally just smashed to bits right next to me into a squillion pieces and I've, I remember thought oh what ha oh what happened maybe it fell down or something but the the way that guy looked at me he went because he was obviously caucasian he went bright red and he looked at me and at that moment i knew this is why this place feels funny 
you, I know what you know that I know. He went and got that. He didn't say one single word. He just looked at me. He went bright red, whether he was angry or embarrassed or whatever it was. He swept it up and uh, threw it away. And like you could see the screws still, still on the wall, if I remember correctly. And we just paid and he just wanted me to get out of that place. And I thought, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I just sat there. And you see what the power of God can do. But another story that I have to share that um, that is very, uh, that truly did happen. And I, I'll get my brother to talk about this, what happened. There's been many, 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 but I want to talk about real examples. When you act, sometimes you don't know. It's when you know is one thing, but when you don't know, when people point things out, they say things, that's when you're like, wow, God. We've really got it like this. So my brother was in central London walking to work and he, he, uh, he'd been in a really great place with God, really spent like, you know, spending time with God. You know, when you have those moments, you're locked in with God, just you and God locked in. So anyway, he was going to work then the next day or the, the week or whatever it was, just going to work, just walking down the streets of London, going to work. And a guy was walking towards him and walked by him and literally like fell like fell backwards like he walked in something in thin air and the guy saw who um eventually kind of looked up and was whoa 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 and kind of walked around something um and carried on going but my brother said that he, he even he was surprised thinking what what are you what are you what did you see what are you avoiding i'm just going to work and immediately god told him mr angelic price he literally walked into an angel the way the guy looked at him looked at the what was next to my the the this it looked like he looked, it looked like he looked into like a space that was next to my brother but it wasn't he'd seen the angel uh, my brother hadn't seen it he just heard god tell him this angel at force the guy literally everyone saw me he walked into him and fell back on his face and had to, had to walk around and i loved that when my brother told me that story he was like wow who'd always remember the, the presence of angels that are with us wherever we go a host of angels that are always with us a host a host god is the you know uh, lord of angel armies the host a host of everything goes is under him lord of angel armies there is so much more with us than those against us and on that note we're going to go into some music why because we want to encourage ourselves to this just remember who we are we might not feel like it but and but other people the other side always see we're a lot stronger than we think we are so let's kick a music break and then we'll be right back again so um like i said keep keep that thought keep keep that thought as we listen to this music like God, where am I in my life? And where am I wondering if you're there? Where am I wondering if you really see? Where am I wondering if you really hear? If you really know what's going on? Where where am I in that situation where things feel overwhelming? Where am I in that? Okay, so let's listen to some music. We'll listen to Holy Gather with one. Um, and another one from Sunday, which I love, which is Back to You. It's great. When things don't seem right and everything else, running back to you. <laughs> so yes, that's Holy Ga- um, Gather with One, Sunday with and um, Back to You. And then we'll listen to T-Babs and Marizu and Noel Mio with Working in Me. And we'll be right back. See you in a bit. Man, this world is crazy, don't you agree? Spending a whole lives trying to be free It's so easy to have in a mess When Jesus changed your full identity eh. As the world falls apart in every way
everybody. I hope you're good. So we're winding, bleh, we're rounding. Where is my lips and my pronunciation is today? So we're rounding or wrapping things up. I think I was mixing both things together. We're wrapping things up for the show. Um, what have we been talking about? Well, let's start with what we've been listening to first of all. We've been listening to um, a, a great collection of music. We've been listening to um, Holy Gather with One, the Sunday track that I've been waiting for us to play back to you. Um, and I like that one because he, he's 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 labelled that a demo, but it's, it's a great track. Um, and um, the T-Babs and Marizu and Noel Mio with Working In Me. So what have we been talking about today? We've been talking about God asking God to open our eyes to see who is with us. Not always what's against us and what's all around us. We looked at um, you know, the, the story of Elisha in Second Kings where he said it's like crikey, dude, master person Elisha. There are chariots and horses and people all around us, all around the city. What are we gonna do about it? Are you are you seeing? <laughs> it reminds me of when the disciples were on the on the boat with um Jesus and he's asleep and they're like, dude, Jesus, our, our, our Lord, is, you, you sleep, Heth? Don't you see the storm? Do not, why are you, you're sleeping, my Lord? And he's like, oh, goodness, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> why don't you just tell the storm to stop? <laughs> and they're like, and in the end, they're like, what is, no, is, that, is that what we, sh- all we had to do? Just tell it to stop. I mean, there's a storm currently at the moment. There's a storm someone's, isn't it? Storm, and you know, they name the storms here in this in this country. Some storm Sierra, I don't know, so some storm something beginning with C. Maybe we need to just all get outside of our houses and, and command it to stop. Because actually, I've got another story on that for another day. That that does happen, you know, when you say enough is enough. And we can command the, the elements to stop. I've got another story for another day. But anyway, I digress. In both those situations, with Elisha and the, and the master and the disciples, they're going, hello, master person. The, there's there's a storm, there's chariots and things. And Jesus in the New Testament says, look, guys, command the storm and thing to stop. And it was stop. And Elisha goes, God, look, open these eyes to see that there's more with us. And God opens the eyes of the servant and he sees an angelic host, like, that just makes the horse and chariots around city look like, guys, pack your bags and go home nicely and maybe you might get away with this type thing and I wanted to conclude today with with that request and that prayer that, that I'm praying that I'm just urging you if you ever are in a situation when you feel like the the systems and work and everything around seems to be all around just say God please open my eyes let me see some light let me see what you see there's so many songs so many words of songs that come to mind about this you know let me that Bethel song let me see things like you do Lord I look to you songs like that that you can play and just saying, God, really, really help me with this. Help me just see what you're seeing. Let me elevate to that position so I can live right and operate right and remember who I am. I'm part of a holy nation. I have Jesus Christ. With I have God within me. I have the spirit of God inside of me. Jesus Christ with me. God with me all the time. I have the host of angels. I have so much. I have power. I have, I have, I have so much. I have authority through the name of Jesus. I have so much. Um... And this situation, like the storm, has to cease. Okay, so I hope we've been encouraged some way. Um, I like sharing what I've I've gained. So hopefully that you can benefit and we can all benefit and all level up. But this is about recognising who we are in Christ and who we've got on us and on, on our side, that we are not alone, you're not alone. So like I said, we're going to end things um, the way we started. We'll, we'll play the um, Jeremiah Pouton uh, Clouds 2. And I will see you next week. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Mark it in your calendars. And remember, sign in my DMs. If only you knew I've been here to you'll be fine. I know the unknown can feel so unknown. It's alright. Put your worries aside. Cause not knowing where you're going Can make life feel so overwhelming Trust me, you'll see in time It'll work out for good, yeah It will work out for my good, yeah It'll work out for
With every step that I take, I'll be alright With you by my side Cause not knowing where you're going Can make life feel so overwhelming But I gotta trust that in time